everyone, and here's a devotional for Monday, November 25th, 2019, and this was taken from an email by my friend Donnie Parrott, his, one of his Donnie Daily Gems, it was probably from a couple of years ago, it's called, Remember to be Thankful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 103, 103, verses 2 through 5. Let's see if I can develop the Donnie Kentucky accent here. No, (laughs) I'll talk in my own voice. But yeah, it would be really, it'd be better if he was actually reading these. But anyway, in the classics, peanut, little, In the classic Peanuts Thanksgiving cartoon, Snoopy gets a regular bowl of dog food rather than a holiday meal. He responds, This isn't fair. The rest of the world today is eating turkey with all the trimmings, and all I get is dog food. (laughs) Then Snoopy stood there and stared at his dog food for a moment and said, I guess it could be worse. I could be a turkey. The key to being thankful is in remembrance, not just for what we have been given, but what, but for what we have been spared. In our self-esteem-focused society, people do not like to consider the true state of man. We build ourselves up so that we feel better, but the reality is that every person born into the world is born into a de- desperate situation. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him." John 3.36. We have been given so much, yet too often our only focus is on what we do not have. Rather than allowing our happiness to be dictated by comparing what we have to what we think we deserve or to what others have, such comparison is a recipe for disaster. It quickly leads us not just to be ungrateful for what we have received, but to begin coveting what others have. This path quickly leads to many kinds of sin. There is more than just obedience involved in thankful living. Taking time to remember and give thanks protects us from evil in our own hearts. Gratitude and thankful living require conscious effort and a commitment to remember what God has done for us. Isn't that a really good challenge for all of us? You know, we just got done talking yesterday about those of us that, you know, are so quick to complain. But it's like, Lord, help us to be thankful for for what you've given us and not looking for what we don't have or everything like that. Thank you, Lord, for the things that you've protected us from or that we've been spared from. I know that I honestly can look back at my life and and know that God has protected me in certain situations and, and also to know that, you know, when bad things do happen, I think, well, you know, it could have been worse if such and such would have happened. I can't think of an example right now, but there are tons of them. And I just really thank God that he does really know what's best for us. And I'm thankful to him for that. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.